This is Dr. Dan from the Medical School Podcast. I just wanted to do a quick review of how to calculate your GPA. The easiest way I found to do it is get all the transcripts from any school you've ever gone to because your medical school application they will calculate it automatically for you as you have to manually type them in. So gather all of your transcripts first. Then go through and get a piece of paper and a calculator and add up all of the credit hours that you got A's in those classes. So if you got 15 A's in, at one school and three at another, add up how many credit hours you got. You know, pay attention to whether you got A in the lab and that sort of thing. Okay, and then take that number of all these credit hours you got A's in and multiply it times four for a 4.0 GPA scale, which is the best way to compare um, to the national numbers. Just check your competitiveness. Okay, and the product of those two numbers, write that number down uh, to the side. Then go through your transcripts again and add up all the credit hours that you got B's in those classes and num multiply that number times three and write that number down right next to where you wrote down the product for the A's. Okay, just keep all your numbers in the same place. Do the same thing for C's, add up all the credit hours you got in C's, multiply that number times two and write it down to the side. And finally, add up all of the D's and multiply that number times one. F's and such uh, don't count uh, for grade point average purposes, but you'll see in a minute that that's going to be a divisor. So the next thing you're going to do is when you wrote down those products for A's, B's, C's, and D's is add all of those up. It's going to be a big number and this time you're going to divide by the total number of credit hours for every class you just um, added up the, the grades for. But this time if you got any F's, any zeros, you're going to have to add those up you know, and divide as well. So include those in the divisor. So once again, quick review is just add up all the credit hours for A's, B's, C's, and D's and multiply those numbers by 4, 3, 2, or 1 depending on what grade you got. Those are called quality points. Divide that by the total number of credit hours to get your GPA on a 4.0 scale. Okay. The next step that you should do is calculate your science GPA. It's the same process except you're going to go through all of your transcripts and separate out all of your science classes. I used to calculate mine with and without math. Things like calculus in some schools are considered um, science courses too. They should be. Um, so I would include math. Um, and then repeat all the steps that you did before. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial as a quick re refresher on how to calculate a GPA from the Medical School Podcast where everyone gets a copy of this free speed reading course for medical school. And right now I'm doing a Facebook 30-day challenge. If this video or any other podcast or the speed reading course has helped you, then I want you to post a video ab about how, how you liked it on your Facebook page or YouTube or wherever you spend time with your friends. If you just send me a link to the video that you made, I'll make you a free 30-day account to the Medical Mastermind community, which includes MCAT, USMLE, question banks, and a whole host of other things. I'm Dr. Dan.